Now, ladies and gentlemen, this playing for a professional American debut, the musical stars of the one and only Mr. Samuel Charles.
When did you finish the show? Mm. Well, I haven't exactly, you know. What do you mean? Look, you don't know what it's like being there night after night with all those sticky hands wanting hooks and pictures. I just couldn't take it anymore. Well, why did you go? Oh, money, of course. Our boyfriend was playing the lead. And what was the story? Oh, hell if I know. I was dancing in third row chorus while he got to run his hands over some blonde piece. And she had legs up to here and boots up to here. Uh, <laughs> I see. No. Don't you say, oh, I see like that. I know what you're thinking. I won't have you pitying me. All right. I won't have anyone pitying me. All right, I said. <coughs> I'm sorry. Is that you? What? Long ago. <laughs> Sometimes you get big breaks, and occasionally there are just big mistakes. Case in point. <laughs> That's what you mean, Cecile. Feel it, feel me. Right, you are, my dear. Who are you? Oh, I'm Natalie. Ashley, this is Natalie. She's just arrived back. Playing him from Netherlands, is it? <laughs> Actually, I'm a pixie in a Christmas show. Your mum must be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually the playmate from the Netherlands that came star the other night. So, what exactly do you do? I'm a dancer. Oh, what kind of dance? <clears throat> um, experimental dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I've heard of that. But it's really quite simple, dear. She experiments with how many twenties she can fit into her thong. So silly. Oh, it's not really, dear. Because they're so silly about this sort of thing. In my day, we called it exotic dancing. There's nothing exotic about it anymore. <laughs> nothing like being on the stage, with the whole room filled with eyes only for you, and you cast away all your inhibitions and... I'll just get that. You just behave until I get back. All right, I'm coming! Ding, 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 and a trolley. So. So. I'm only part-time. What? Stripping. I'm only part-time. Till I can afford to go travelling? What, and strip the world over? A uh -huh. ha <laughs> you are what a Broadway star. I'm a children's entertainer, clear. <laughs> Stop, you good little monsters, wanting cuddles and attention. Promise that like I'd stayed with my ex. It wasn't like that. No? All right, fine. It was the biggest nightmare of my life. Yeah, well, at least it's over now. Yeah. Wait. You just left, didn't you? So? Oh, don't get me wrong. I think it's great. You just walked out? Yep. And you're not going back? Nope. Any idea what you're going to do now? No. You've not really thought this through, have you? No. Well, I know what we're going to do now. What? Get 
months, twelves. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, you sat in this hole wearing green tights and shoes with bells on. If anyone deserves a drink, it's you. <laughs> Fair enough. Now we're talking. Come on, get troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for the judgment day. Sun is shining, come on, get happy. The Lord is waiting to take your hand. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. We're going to the promised land. Ha, <laughs> 
No, Cecile, you couldn't be more wrong. You are immortalized because you led the way for people like me. I did? Yes. And young lady, <coughs> you think you're the only one through a job you're not proud of on your way to making it. My first job was a coachroom attendant in a theatre. <coughs> and I can tell you there are times I saw businessmen drooling over 20-something-year-olds at a matinee and come back for the same show in the evening with their wives. I wanted nothing more than to throw in the towel and walk away. But then, one night, something happened. I heard this beautiful woman singing. Her voice will make me want to be in the theatres forever. Oh, Phil. Sir, you have been in almost every Shakespeare play known to man. But you need to try something else. Maybe it'll work out, and maybe it won't. But you can't spend the rest of your life afraid. You're right. I'm going to go out there, find myself a stage to call my own again, show these youngsters just what this old has been is made of. And Cecile, when I'm done with that, I'm going to come back here and make love to you. <laughs> you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> My dear girls, you are the luckiest ones of all. You have all of your choices spread before you. It might not happen overnight, but it doesn't mean you should stop trying. After all, you can't let the bonds win, can you? Ashley, let's go. Go away, it's nearly 2 a.m. Try and every opportunity we can and kick the door in. I don't exactly have my kicking in the door of opportunity shoes with me. <laughs> <laughs> we just stopped to find you some men. Come on! Bye, Cecile. Bye, Tree. I mean, Bill. <laughs> well, one for the road, Bill. I'm a tree. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. <laughs> Sweetheart, where? 